In the plain, the area where the great sanctuary of Asclepius flourished, there are indications that man has been present there since the prehistoric years. There are also indications that worship in the central area of the Asclepian possibly began in the early Hellenic years, namely from the 8th to the 7th century BC. The one thing that is certain is that a well was dug there early in the 6th century BC, which probably collected water from a nearby brook and which was later covered by subsequent buildings. This ensured the supply of water, a crucial element for worship. A little further to the south, an altar of ash was established, similar to the one on Kinortian, and a small temple was built next to it. During the 5th century BC, the temple and altar were enclosed within a square set by two shallow colonnades and a plain wall, while an overground altar was built facing them. Findings in the Altar of Ash tell us that here were venerated both Apollo and Asclepius together. In the 4th century BC, this complex, conventionally named Building E, acquired a third, possibly double-decked colonnade along the plain wall on its south side, as well as a facade with a monumental gate. The year 375 BC saw the beginning of the ambitious monumental building construction project in the Asclepian. We know this program relatively well from inscriptions detailing the building's administrative and economic data. It began with Asclepius Temple in the south, the construction of which took five years. It was very close to the sacred well. The temple was built of sandstone, with six times twelve Doric columns in the peristyle and an interior Corinthian colonnade. It was decorated with marble sculptures on its pediments, depicting the sack of Troy and an Amazon fight, and had a marble ocroteria which were free-standing statues at the top and corners of the roof, depicting the statues of Nike and Nereides, created by great sculptors of the day, such as Timotheus. Before the temple, next to the entrance ramp, a bronze statue of the god stood on a pedestal that has survived to our time, depicting Asclepius holding a fiali that had water running from it. The building, which is called Aviton or Enchimitirion, closes the central sanctuary area from the north side. This 70-meter colonnade was the place where patients slept, expecting Asclepius to come in their sleep to heal them or suggest a cure to them. This process was called incubation. In Kimisi. The Aviton colonnade was constructed in the 4th century BC to replace a smaller archaic colonnade, which was no longer sufficient for the crowds of pilgrims converging to the famous sanctuary in those days. The building had 31 ionic columns on the facade with the top floor ones equipped with stone balustrades between them. From this it is clear that the colonnade was accessible only to those who participated in the mystery of miraculous healing. This was the meaning of the name Avaton namely an area that could not be accessed, stepped upon by a non-accredited person.
only the sandstone foundations and small parts of the superstructure of the classical era Avaton have survived to this day. The building was probably destroyed by the destructive earthquake in the 6th century AC.